East West Stadium on a great September night here in Marion County as we're set for the kickoff. And that kickoff is short and sweet for East Fairmont. As, uh, well, number 80 is not listed in the roster. So he used a, a, about a wedge off of the tee there. And it went about 60 yards straight up, and nobody knew what to do. So guess what? First and 10 Fairmont at the Mohegan 36-yard line. And guess what? Morgantown's got a kickoff to start the second half, too. DJ Mignano in her center for the Polar Bears. And he'll throw on first down. Stops, looks, fires over the middle. Has a man wide open, caught. That's Matt Bierbauer with the reception. And guess what? First and goal, Bears at the 9. Twenty-seven yards on the opening play, and they're loud and proud at East West Stadium. This is a Fairmont team that lost in overtime last week. Didn't feel they should have. They let a fourteen-point lead go to North Marion, and now in motion. And Johnson has it, loses it on the ground, picks it back up, but he's tripped up in the backfield by Zach Cook, Dwayne Jones, rather. Loss of two on the play, it'll be second and 12. Correction on the opening pass. The opening pass went 21 yards, not 36. Or 27 as we initially had written down. Second and 12 now for West Side. And it's Manana back to pass, pressure comes, gets away from it, fires and it's caught, touchdown. <laughs> Matt Bierbauer gives the Polar Bears a six nothing lead. One minute and six seconds into the game. And Morgantown's shutout on the season is quickly gone. Uh, it looks wide left. So 10.54 to go first quarter. It's a uh, blue team six, stunned team nothing. There's not even a kicker on the roster, let alone a number 80. So, the squib kick, unbelievable momentum for the Fairmont Polar Bears, who haven't come close to beating Morgantown High in the six years I've been here. When I say haven't come close, I mean the closest might have been 28 points. So, And this one's a little bit deeper. Fielded at the 13 by Zach Cook. Stops, goes back inside. Hit and dropped at the 25. No, he's still on his feet, Zach Cook, up to the 31-yard line. How about that for a return? Number 76, Adam Brandt will get the start at tackle tonight, the sophomore. And on the first play, Spencer Farley, student body right through the middle, picks up a couple up to the 35. We'll say four yards on the carry, it'll be second down. Well, 
they spot him down at the 34, so it's only a gain of three. Second and a short seven. This is Rudy Hines through the middle. And Rudy Hines takes it to the 40. Just shy of a first down. Rudy Hines getting the start for Guy Hornsby who missed practice this week because of an illness. Six yards for Hines, it's third and short. 9.48 and counting, first quarter, six nothing. Polar Bears, and there's a mismatch on the left side. Twins to the left of quarterback Zach Sala. He's gonna push it through the middle. He'll have the first down up to about the 44 yard line. And four yard pickup for number nine. And the Mohegans, three plays, first down on the ground. Tyler Kirk, Josh Durham to the left. Joe Bragg tight to the right. And this is Guy Hornsby through the middle. Guy pumping the legs, takes it across the 45. And they'll say just shy of the 48, and we'll give him the 48. Four yard pickup for Hornsby, it'll be second and six. This time Doug Helling wide to the left, Josh Durham in the slot to the left. Farley and Horns being in the backfield. This is Farley on the right side, no blocking, but he gets away from tackler Spencer Farley across midfield. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49 yard line. Give him the 49. Three yard pickup for Farley. Third and seven, or third and three. On the, f just shy of the 48. Three and a half almost. Josh Durham and Hornsby now behind Zach Solly. Tight to the left is Joe Bragg and here come the Bears. They're bringing everybody. Hornsby though, on a first down, is still on his feet and he's into the open field. Keeps his balance and dives his way across the 35 to the 33 yard line guy, Hornsby. To the 34, excellent pickup for number 33. 15 yards for Hornsby. And he'll get another first down for Morgantown. Anthony Dinamenico checking in, we'll go wide to the right. Holly yet to go to the air, and he will on this play. Pocket collapses. He heaves one outside. Has Joe Bragg there. Joe Bragg, ah, just out of his reach. Joe Bragg was two, three, maybe even four steps ahead of his man. And Solly under severe pressure. Couldn't quite get it to him. It'll be second and ten. Seven twenty-nine to go, first quarter, six nothing Polar Bears. Durham wing to the right. And here's Spencer Farley, finds the seam to the outside, Spencer Farley back inside, bouncing his way ahead across the 15 yard line down to the 14. They'll say 15. 19 yards for Farley on the carry. And it's another Mohegan first down. And Josh Durham's carrying the night, has a nice hole, turns it back inside, gets inside the 10. And they'll say about the nine, shy of the nine. Six yard pickup for Durham. Wiggins moving the ball, working the clock. 
all runs, one incomplete pass on this drive that started at their own 31 four minutes ago. Second and five now from the Polar Bear 10. And through the, no, this is Spencer Farley, the outside breaks through into the end zone. Touchdown, 22, Spencer Farley. And the Mohicans have tied it up here in the first quarter, 6.22 to go. Shadow to kick, Straff is to hold. And Patrick will try to give the Mohegans the lead. And he will as he sends it into the Mon River. 6.22 to go first quarter. Morgantown answers nicely and impressively. 69 yard drive on 10 plays. And they lead the Polar Bears seven to six. A lot of hesitation this year. Maybe we're not as good as we've been in the past years. Everybody's waiting for it to fall apart. Did it fall apart on that opening drive? Looked like it. Mohegans, though, responded with character and with tradition, and that's running the ball left and running it right and running it up the middle and running it in your face and around your face and past your face, through your face. So if you're going to beat Morgantown, you got to stop the run. And East Fairmont or Fairmont Senior did not on that opening drive. Shadow will try to put it in the end zone as three stand at the goal line. And this one is only going to make it up. Oh, they'll say touchback. Earl Jones thought he had it at the one, did not. So first and 10 Bears at their own 20. Two seconds come off the clock there. Two seconds should not have come off the clock. It's true, it's true. It's a touchback. And around the right side. Turn the outside, Doug Hilling says you gotta do a little bit faster than that. Joseph Tata loses about four on the play. Magnano now to throw, looking right, fires over the middle, t uh, caught. And Hornsby will wrap him up and try to bring him to the ground, and does. John Middlemoss catching the pass. Thirteen yard pickup. For the Bears, they've got third and one. And Manano already is three for three for 51 yards. And they'll run it this side. They got the first down and change. Still on his feet and running across down to the 40 yard line before finally being brought down by Guy Hornsby and Spencer Farley. That's what, East, that's, I'm going to call him East all night, just get used to it. That's Fairmont's fourth running back. Nobody's carried the ball twice. I don't even know who that one was.
We'll just put question mark plus three. Second and a long seven now. There's another running back we haven't seen yet. That was 21, right? Ran that ball? I didn't pay any attention. There's no 21 in the roster either, so you know. Is it 21 that ran that? Number? Okay. Timeout Bears. A little confusion. There we go. Will Copney is 21. 3.33 to go in the first quarter. 7-6 Mohegans. You come to Fairmont and you get a roster, which is, I'll take it. However, the problem with the roster is it's in alphabetical order by class. So you've got the seniors listed alphabetically, not numerically. And you've got the juniors listed alphabetically, not numerically. And of course, the soft, you know. the. So it gives me a minute, takes me a minute to find the number. Third and five now for Fairmont. Munano's three for three, throwing 51 yards. Hasn't thrown in the last three or four plays. And he'll throw on this one. The middle seems to have been open. Now he's going to run. He'll take off, and he's cut from behind nicely. Again, Doug Hilling with a nice tackle. Munano gets maybe a yard on the play. It'll be fourth down and four, and the Polar Bears will be forced to punt. And the drums continue to pound. And taking his time with the zip, and it goes right out of bounds. We'll see where this spot is. Oh, oh he's knocking up the sideline. I'd say about the 34. 36, 37. He's going to say the 37-yard line. I'll take it. Two forty-eight to go, first quarter. Seven-six, Morgantown. They'll start first and ten from their own thirty-seven. Kirk and Durham, twins to the left. Joe Bragg will stay tight to the right. Hornsby and Farley in the backfield. Hornsby through the middle and Guy. Shakes off a tackle and still bounces his way ahead to the 41-yard line. I've yet to see many people take down Guy Hornsby on the initial hit. So second and six from the 41. This time... Farley in the wing to the left. And Josh will take the handoff. Durham will. And he'll fight and bounce his way to the 45. Or they will spot the football at the 45. Gain of four for 24. It'll be third and about a long two. Two and a half, really. As David Lye comes to the sidelines. Goes to the sidelines. Hilling, Durham to the left. Bragg tight to the right. And Fairmont's got about 10 guys in the box. Hornsby, he's got the first down. You didn't really have to go out on a limb and predict it. 
And that'll be enough for the Mohegan first down. They're going to measure anyhow. Uh, official timeout. I think Guy has it easy. Guy's got to buy a half a yard. Because this is what Guy Hornsby does on third down. He picks up first downs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tap you there. I, I thought I was on the wrong spot. Uh -huh. That ball's on a 48. It has to. Well, I can't tell up there either. Okay. I'm giving guy the 48 anyhow. First and 10, Mohegan's at the 47 and a half. D. Domenico comes in motion, and we have a some procedure penalty as Spencer Farley bounces it to the outside and has finally wrestled to the ground. But this one's going to come back five yards, and another flag comes in late over on the sideline, so we could have offsetting penalties, and this could benefit the Mohegans. Let's hope it's on the Polar Bears on the far sideline. Uh, and we'll see what the call is. I don't even see the White Hat, so they're... Conferring. Okay. Uh, there's still no official word to the press box about what the call is. Illegal shift against the Mohegans. There was another flag down on the far sideline, though. Dead ball, personal foul on the Polar Bears. So, so they'll lose five, they'll pick up 15, it should be an automatic first down because you lose five on the, uh, and then, and that should be a first down. Otherwise that's poor marking. So the late hit, there we go. First down, Morgantown. First and 10, Morgantown at the Fairmont 43. Here goes Tyler Kirk, left side. Twins to the left, one to the right, delayed handoff, given to Farley, and he's got a jet, and he's in trouble. Can he get away from trouble? No. So the draw does not work. He'll lose four. Second and 14. Nineteen seconds and counting. First quarter, seven six Mohegans. As they will run the ball and kill the clock. Should be the last play of the first quarter. They don't have to get it off, but they will anyhow. Josh Durham left side looking for a hole. Finds a seam. He's to the outside. Durham's at the 30. 25, 20, and Josh Durham is down to the 17-yard line. First down, Morgantown. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Thirty-yard run for Josh Durham, and Morgantown will start the second quarter. First and ten at the seventeen. They lead it seven to six. This is Morgantown Mohegan football, a Video Quest production. I thought the band spectacular was tomorrow night. First and ten at the seventeen. Delayed handoff. Now Solly's going to run. He's in trouble. He's going to be dropped back at the 29-yard line. A loss of 12 as that play went nowhere from the start. And 
They'll give Solly the 28 yard line, so it's a loss of 11. Second and 21. So now we might see some throwing, or, or. Up, and a jump. Is Josh Dalton jumped? Sorry. To second and a trip to the interstate. Second and 26. Hornsby through the middle. And he still manages to fight his way through seven polar bears. Gain of six for Hornsby. Third and a lot. On the flare pass to Farley, he meets one tackler. Can he turn it back inside? And he spins his way up to the 21. So now Patrick Shadow with the wind in his face, a slight breeze. Patrick's got about a 37 yarder. He'll tee it at the 29, so it's a 39 yarder for junior Patrick Shadow. Lots of time. Snap aside, good hold by Strafus. The kick is long enough, looks like it's right down the middle. No, wide to the right. So because it made it into the end zone, it's a touchback for Fairmont. I'm assuming that's a rule. That's, that's really not the truth. I have given up trying to figure out West Virginia rules because they change every year, or every game for that matter. Nine forty-seven to go, first quarter. Fairmont will take over, throw 20, trailing seven to six. And this play's not gonna go anywhere. Will Copney is dropped by Joe Bragg. Looks like Blake Mattern and somebody else, I'm sure. Second and 10, 9-13 and counting, second quarter. And this is Jones on the left side, on his feet still, but finally, suplex down by Durham after a gain of two. Third and eight, and you know Seriously, you do. You know Frank Moore is going to go to the air here. The way Mignogna has been throwing the ball. However, he didn't throw it on their second series. Bears break the huddle with eight on the play clock. It's not on a five, four, three, two. They get it off. Mignogna throwing, looking near side. Fires over the middle. Has Jones, and he's into the open field. Look out. And he'll dive ahead to the 41-yard line. And why he's not throwing the ball more, I have no idea. It's a 19 yard pickup for Jones. And a first down. And the Bears have been moving the football very successfully through the air. On the ground, nothing. Some will come with too tight. 
the fullback through the middle, couple. Like Drew Mock, the ball carrier, picked up three. Almost three. Second and a long seven. And the handoff through the middle. That's Copney again. And Copney still picks up a few yards. And Mohegan's dropping back to play maybe some pass coverage. Copney gets five. So it's third and two. Six fifty one and counting. This is Mock, and he's going to be close. Joe Bragg with a nice tackle. And I believe he does have it. First down. So now at the Morgantown 49-yard line, 6.25 to go in the half, 7-6, and Fairmont Senior's second consecutive first down. Manana to throw, fires over the middle, tipped in, almost intercepted. Almost caught as well. As Farley fell to the ground and tipped it in the air. His first incomplete pass of the night. Second and 10 at the 48. This is Mock, and he's dropped or grabbed onto somehow. Nice pursuit by Zach Cook on the backside to slow down Mock. He gets two. Third down and eight. Clock rolling, 5.40 to go in the first half. Third down for the Bears. And eight, twins to the right. Magnani back, pressure comes by Hornsby. He stops, he's in trip, and he's brought to the ground. Blake Mattern. Mad Max Anderson. Will finally bring Magnani to the ground at his own 44. Loss of nine, and the Polar Bears will be forced to punt. Fourth and 20. And this is an ugly kick, goes right out of bounds. Should be a decent spot for the Mohegans, and it is. They'll have it first and 10 at about their own 41 with 4.49 to go in the first half, and Morgantown leading it seven to six. <coughs> so first and 10 Morgantown just past their own 40. This is Spencer Farley on the right side. He's got the outside and he's down the sideline. Spencer at the 40 and he's tripped up as he nears the 40 of Fairmont. And they'll give him the 41 yard line, a gain of 19. And the Polar Bears want timeout. 
It's their second timeout. 4.41 to go in the first half, and Morgantown clinging to that extra point, 7-6 lead. Good game. First and 10, just shy of the polar bear 40 yard line. Morgantown with an eye wing right is Josh Durham. Spencer Farley stops, dances, goes through the line, still on his feet as he breaks, loses the football. Looks like Fairmont has it though. And they do. So Morgantown moving the ball successfully. But Fairmont come up with a big play there. Comes up with a big play. And the polar bears have one timeout remaining. 4.34 to go. And about 63 yards in front of them. Manana drops the snap. That ball's loose on the ground, and Morgantown says they have it. Morgantown dies. There's still no official word. No, first down, Fairmont has it. So Mignano gets it back, loses a yard. Second and 11. Four thirteen rolling here. Jones moves in motion to the right. Manano fires now filled way over shot, but Jones picks up speed and couldn't get to it. Jones turned on the Jets and should have caught that football. Why he didn't? I must have been at a bad angle. But he was twenty yards away from that football when it looked like, and he just ran it down, but apparently not well enough. So now third and about 10 and a half, make it 10 for Fairmont Senior. And they give. Near side, tripped up and dropped for a loss of a yard, maybe two, is Copney. Matt Kozart and Guy Hornsby. And that will be a loss of one. But there is a penalty flag on the play. And it looks like it's going to go against Morgantown. We'll see what this call is. And does Fairmont get to keep the football? Looks like they're going to. Face mask against Morgantown. Now, was it a personal foul or just a five-yarder? Five yards, but it's still fourth down. Now they repeat the down. So instead of fourth and ten, third and five. Three thirty-eight. Clock is moving. Third and along five. Snap is back to Manana. Looking one way now. Looks the other. Fires over the middle. Has his man caught. First down. Fairmont at the Morgantown forty-seven. Darrell Jones with a catch to Morgantown, 47. Clock moving, 3.18 to go and a half. 
Dwayne Jones to the left. Through the middle is Copney, and he's just one tackle away from maybe breaking it to the outside. Second and six. Left side, this is Jones again to the inside, now back outside. Brought down by Doug Hilling at the 39. Close but short of a polar bear first down. Third and one with 2.15 and counting first quarter. First half. And now Mock through the middle, has the first down, carries the load up to the 34. <coughs> Drew Mock, another first down for Fairmont. And with a minute 44 to go, the Polar Bears are knocking on the door. First and 10 at the Mohegan 34-yard line. Manana to throw. He's now filled. There's Farley there, and he can't hold on to it. Spencer Farley needed to catch that one. Just maybe one step away from putting it in the bread basket. The incomplete pass will stop the clock with a minute 33 to go in the half. Second and 10, Fairmont. Out of a shotgun, Manana twins to each side. And they'll give. Left side, but he's dropped in the backfield. Guess who's back? Back again, Chris Belt with a big stop in the backfield at the 39. Copney went nowhere. And with a minute five to go and counting. Third and 15, however, that middle has been killing the Mohegans. This time trips to the right, one to the left. Manana looking, now he's forced to scramble. Will he get to the first down? And the lone tackler, Hornsby, fell down. And Manana gets it inside the 20, down to the 17 yard line as he motored past the defense. Hornsby had to make the tackle and he slipped. Twenty two yard pickup out of bounds stops the clock with forty three seconds to go in the half. And the polar bears will get the ball to start the third quarter. Trips to the right again, one to the left. And bad snap. And Manano is just gonna fall on it. Smart move. The Bears will take their final time out of the half. And uh, no help from their home scorekeeper. They called timeout. The referee blew for it, and three seconds went off the clock again. And remember that two seconds I said that came off? How vital is that? You think so? Two seconds that came off on the touchback. Patrick Shadle kicking off after the Mohegan touchdown. The clock never should have started with a touchback, but they started it. Two came off. Five. 
16 yard loss on the bad snap. Second and 26, 32 seconds to go. However, I think Fairmont realizing this, they have three shots at the end zone. No timeouts left. Throw it into the, into the goal line. Their field goal kicker is warming up. Another bad snap. I mean, you know, this time he's got time to pick it up. Looks and he's in trouble and Max Anderson drops him at the 46 yard line. That might just about do it. The Mohegan 40, they'll give him 47. That one went minus 20 and the clock's gonna wind and we're gonna go to the locker room folks with a one point lead at East West Stadium. Morgantown seven, Fairmont senior six, third quarter in a moment. This is Morgantown Mohegan football, a video quest production. Ready to start the third quarter. Some first half stats for you, unofficially from the Mohegans. Uh, Spencer Farley, six carries, 48 yards. Uh, Rudy Hines, one carry, six yards. Zach Solly, uh, sacked once, carried the ball once. He's got minus three yards. Guy Hornsby, five carries, 30 yards. Josh Durham, three carries, 40 yards. Zach Solly is one of two for six yards. Spencer Farley, a flare pass. Mohegans ran. Five plays from scrimmage in the second quarter. Time of possession in the first half, 15.45 to Fairmont, 9.15 for Morgantown. And that's why it's seven to six Mohegans. Shadel tries to put this one through the uprights as well and comes close. And they didn't start the clock this time. So while Morgantown is winning at the half, feels like we're losing, doesn't it? Sure does. <coughs> it's just a matter, you gotta get the Mohegan defense off the field. Nick Straffis in the game at left corner. And a botched handoff, and Manana's in big trouble. He'll lose five guy Hornsby in the backfield. So that's three plays in a row for DJ Magnano, counting the last two on bad snaps to end the half. He's gone three plays minus 36 yards. He says, I can't add. Okay, I can't. Three plays minus 42 yards. And a little bit of a problem with the play clock. Second and 15. This is Jones on the sweep to the left side and he's into the outside. Finally, Doug Hilling stands him up after about a four yard gain. Dwayne Jones, if you will. Not Durrell. Jones gets four. So third and long for the Polar Bears, who've converted on third down numerous times this evening. And now they're back, looking now in trouble, doesn't have anybody open, scrambling out of the pocket, gonna run for it. And finally pushed out of binds by Anthony Jambroni. And he'll get back to the 24, maybe 25 yard line.
And this is a great kick. That one's beautiful. Tyler Kirk will finally pick it up to 13. Penalty flags coming in late. And here goes Kirk. Nice move to the outside. And he's down the sideline, still on his feet as he stays up to the 49. And another flag comes in late. So these could offset. And Kirk's run could stand at the 49. Illegal block in the back of this Mohegans. Clipping called against the Polar Bears. Offset. And, uh, I mean, still don't have a football. Frank Moore discussing. Does this mean you re kick? Do you the sticks haven't moved? I think you're re-kicking. This is what they call the proverbial do-over. So, Tyler Kirk, yeah, offsetting penalties, it's doing. Replay the down, fourth and five. Kirk and Durham a little bit more respect on this return, and this is Tyler Kirk at the 35. Tyler Kirk return left, coming to the near side, goes inside, now steps back outside. Two good blocks there, and Tyler Kirk is down the sideline, still on his feet. 25, forced out of bounds at the Polar Bear, 20-yard line. Justin Blankenship threw two tremendous blocks back downfield. And Tyler Kirk fought his way to the 20 yard line where the Mohegans will start in the red zone. <laughs> 53 yards on the return for Tyler Kirk. First and 10, Mohegans, eye wing right. Penalty flag on the play is Spencer Farley. He's into the end zone, touchdown. But I think it's coming back. <laughs> Can you, are you zooming in on 10 down there to Zach Solly? Uh, yeah. Well, you couldn't see it, but at about the 22 yard line, the line judge that made the call, Zach Solly just stood there Staring him down like he just shot his dog. <laughs> no, they waved it off. Touchdown. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it either, but I'll take it. <laughs> Twenty-two goes twenty-two yards. Touchdown stands. Shadle two kick. Strafus two hold. That kick is good. That kick hit my car. It did, it hit my car. Okay, well I'm 9.33 to go, third quarter. Morgantown, 14, Fairmont Senior, six. Oh, you can talk to me. I had him. That would be good. 
Just yell, you see something yelling out. Give me a mic. People ordinarily fast forward this downtime anyhow. And if you're not, you get a gold star this week, whoever you are. Shade is looking for his third touchback of the night. I was going to keep track of his touchbacks this year, but I've already run out of fingers to keep track of them on. Beautiful. Just let it bounce. Okay, first and 10 Polar Bears at their own 20 yard line. Johnson in motion to the left, they give up the middle. To Will Coppin, he's too many running backs on his team. 21 is Coppin, 34 is Mock, 23 and three are Jones, 15 is Bierbauer. Who else runs the ball? 24 is Hess. Jones, Jones goes in motion. They give to Copney in the backfield. He's dropped. It looked like practically no gain. Third and four. Look for that pass over the middle. Manana dropping back, fakes the handoff, rolling left. Pressure comes. Manana's in trouble, gets away from tacklers, but and he's still on his feet. Fires downfield, has a man caught. This is Muck, and Guy Hornsby brings him down out of bounds at the 43-yard line. But we have a penalty flag down at the 19. Personal foul, roughing the passer against the Mohegans. This is going to add 15 yards. On to the gain up to the 41. So with the penalty, the Polar Bears on third and five pick up 38 yards and could not hold on to DJ Magnano in the backfield. First and 10 Bears at the Mohegan 41. Magnano back looking over the middle. It's not there and there he is, Blake Mattern. Boom! Boom, boom, Blake. Drops Magnano. Back at the 45, it's a loss of four. This guy has had a rough week, had his starting tackle position taken away from him. They're wondering where he's been all week. He showed up there second and 14. Fakes once, uh, Jones twice through the middle, tries to go to the outside, but staying at home and making his tackle. Great play, 25, Zach Cook. That's, that's perfect, perfect coaching right there. Dwayne Jones gets one, it's third, or did he lose one? He picked up one, third, and 13. 
6.45, counting third quarter, 14-6, Mohegans, third and long. Magnano back, rolling left. Now he's got to run, and he's got a lot of room. And he's got wheels. He's going to try to get to the first down, and it's going to be close. I think he's going to be a yard short. Oh, they gave it to him. He just barely got there to the 30. Fourteen yard pickup for Manana. And the defense has played a lot tonight. They've been on the field for three minutes of this drive. First and ten bears at the 30. Copney, right side, has a seam. Finally runs into a host of Mohegan tacklers. At about the 27. Four yard gain, second and six. From the 26. This is mock through the middle. Hit and held up nicely. Who made that stop? Was that 79 or 32? It was Joe Bragg. Five, 24. Two yard pickup for Mac. Here we are in third down again. Third and three this time. I would even venture four down territory for Fairmont. Mac again, he's gonna need four down territory. He's gonna be close to the first down, but I don't think he has it. Fourth down, already the call. Fourth and inches. And Fairmont doesn't even have a huddle. Their quarterback's on the sideline, play clock rolling. 15 to go on the play clock. Seven, six, five, four, three. Mock through the middle, he could have the touchdown. He's tripped up from behind. And I'll take that. I'd rather take Doug Hilling making the stop. Or was that Max Anderson? It was. Mac picked up seven. Mac now in the backfield. Matt Kozert's there. Mock, Mac. Uh, I, that's, uh, you know. He picked up a couple. On the 12. Copney, right side. He's in trouble, but he gets away from trouble. He loses his own footing nearing the 10. Third and six. This is Fairmont's fourth third down on this drive. And they've converted three of three on this drive. Through the middle, Mock, and he'll be short. He needs to get to about the about the five for the first down. Nine. 
So big fourth down. Fourth and about five. Manana to pass, looking, firing into the back of the end zone, has his man incomplete. Andrew Donato, the intended receiver, well covered. Josh Durham, complimentary, but guess what? Morgantown will take over first and 10 at their own nine yard line. Good defense by the Mohegans. Defense on the field there, seven minutes, 30 seconds. Ridiculous. The hard part is Hornsby, Farley, Durham, they all play defense. This is Spencer Farley right side. Does he have the wheels left in him? He fights, he's still on his feet, and he'll be knocked out of bounds after about a seven to eight yard gain. Ball up to 15, second and four. Gain of six for Farley. Says Spencer again, he's tackled, but he spins out of it and he's down the sideline. Come on, Spencer, hang in there. He stepped out of bounds. <laughs> Twenty-two, though, it does get the first down. Farley was caught in the backfield, spun out of it. Out of bounds, stops the clock with a minute forty-five to go in the third quarter. First and ten, Mohegans at their own twenty-four. Says Josh Durham, who breaks two tackles and Durham's into the open field. Inside, outside, Durham's down the sideline. Come on, Josh, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 76 yards for Josh Durham. No penalty flags on the play, and the Mohegans now lead 20 to 6. Bad news is the defense has got to come back out on the field. <laughs> Shadle two kick, it's up. And this time it went over my car. <laughs> that stupid drive only took 32 seconds off the clock. <laughs> One thirty-one to go third quarter. Morgantown 21, Fairmont 6. 21 unanswered points by the Mohegans. Three plays, 91 yards for the Mohegans. Shadow will look for his fourth consecutive touchback. This one's not going to make it. Taken and dropped at the 10-yard line, picked up at the 15. And can he get through the hole there? If only he had a tighter shirt on, he would have. But guess where they're starting? At the 20. <laughs> All that is is a more painful touchback.
Morgantown ran five plays from scrimmage in the first half, or in the second quarter. So far, they've run four this quarter. 123 to go. Left side, this is Darrell Jones hit and met and dropped. I wish I could have seen what <laughs> did you miss it? No, I got it. I just didn't say it to me, guys. Yeah, uh, the number. Uh, Under a minute to go, third quarter, no gain on the play for Darrell Jones. Second and ten. 49 seconds and counting. This is Mock through the middle. Six yards, maybe five. Gozart with another tackle, 22 seconds to go in the quarter. I think Fairmont's going to let it run out, and they are. So that'll be the end of the third quarter. Morgantown clinging 21-6, fourth quarter in a moment. This is Morgantown Mohegan Football Video Quest production. <clears throat> Fourth quarter. Magnano back. Anderson coming. Screen pass. Has his man Johnson. And he's got uh, uh, speed. And he'll step inside of Durham. But finally, Doug Helling will knock him out at the 45 yard line. yards on that play. On guess what? Third down. So first and ten at the Mohegan 45 for Fairmont Senior. Back looking pressure comes. Matter can't hold him up. Now the pocket collapses. Well he's gonna get away. Thank you. No, he won't. Was it Zach Cook? Was it Joe Bragg? Was it Max Anderson? Was it? Who's it? Could it be? Wasn't? I don't care. It's a loss of six. Second and 16. I'm going to bet they're not going to convert here. This is mock through the middle. And pushed backwards. Back to Mohegan territory, a two-yard gain up to the Morgantown 49-yard line. And it's third and long. Again, third, long. Three forty three third and fourteen. Let's let's calm down. Third and fourteen. Fairmont has converted on third down so much this evening. Lineman out of a two-point stance. Penalty flag on the play, fires over the middle. He's got Jones again. Across the 25 to the 24, but I think this one's coming back unless the Mohegans were lined up in the neutral zone. And Joe Bragg says illegal, uh, illegal motion against the Polar Bears. 
<laughs> it finally happened to you! Did you make a call? Huh? Despite the motion penalty, Fairmont would have converted, but it's now instead of third and 13, it's third and 18. Trips to the left, one to the right. Nobody in coverage on Jones. Fires and intercepted Anthony Straffis. Nick Straffis, I'm sorry, Straffis is gone. One move, no. Nick Straffis, penalty flag comes in late. In the backfield, this could be a personal foul on somebody. Nick Straffis comes up huge for the Mohegans here in the fourth quarter. Personal foul against uh, Morgantown. East Oak against Fairmont. Personal foul against Fairmont. It will be assessed at the end of the run. I believe half the distance to the goal. Oh, he pointed to Morgantown, my fault. Personal foul was on Morgantown. Do -do -do. Dead ball, personal foul against the Mohegans. First down, Morgantown, thank you. Straffis, Nick Straffis, was knocked out at the 18. 15 yards will put the Mohegans, you never know, but I'm going to say approximately the 33 yard line. Nine twenty-one to go, fourth quarter. Durham in the wing to the right. Spencer Farnley dotting the eye. And they give to 22, right side. He's got a hole, and look at the legs. 20, 15, Farley breaks a tackle. Five, four, three, two, one. 33 yards for Spencer Farley. And the offense is on the field for all of nine seconds. <laughs> 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 and Shadel decides to kick it over the east-west scoreboard. 9-12 to go. Fourth quarter. Mohegans 28, Polar Bears 6. This is the most fun I've had in a Mohegan game uh, ever, or an NCAC game for that matter, outside of the Mohawk Bowl. And that's, eh, that's not even fun. That's too much stress, really. And 
let's see with Shadle puts this one. This one's into the end zone touchback. Four out of five for Patrick Shadle. Oh, and he does a nice high five with Josh Durham at the 50. That's Patrick Shadle's 20. Patrick Shadle's 24 by 27. By. 9 12 to go. Moth! They're in the middle of nowhere. Joe Bragg. Even takes a few off. That was. I don't know who it was. Was it Mock? Second 11, we have motion up front, dead ball. It was more of a profile call, a profile procedure. The ref was facing the Fairmont band instead of the press box. Minus five is, say it with me now, 16. Thank you. 8.07 and counting fourth quarter. This is Mock through the middle again, bouncing his way to the right, getting back to about the initial line of scrimmage. Again, Matt Kozart with another tackle. Third and 10 from the 20. One receiver wide to the left. Nano has a man down the sideline, Jones, and he jumped and did not lay out. Incomplete pass stops the clock, 7.15 to go in the fourth quarter, and the Polar Bears actually go three and out. Cook and Kirk. Penalty flag on the ground at the line of scrimmage. As Cook fakes the reverse, comes 45-50. Lots of room to maneuver. Zach Cook, he's on the left side. Zach Cook breaks a tackle, and he's still on his feet. Oh, and his hit hard. Nice tackle by Drew Mock. And we'll see him next year, too. He's only a junior, but this one might be coming back. We'll see what the call is. Procedure against the Bears, declined by the Mohegans. First down, Morgantown. So it's, what is it, 28 to seven? If you're Frazier, do you put your JVs in? <laughs> That's another story for another time. And that's, and that's comment is a, it's just an inside joke. It's in no way reflecting on the Mohegans or the, or the polar bears. Nice bomb returns Zach Cook puts the Mohegans at the polar bear 22. This is Guy Hornsby tripped up and might've got back to the line of scrimmage. Guy 
Hornsby loses one. Second and ten and a half. D Domenico wide to the left, Durham in the wing to the right. Pitch left, Spencer Farley. Back inside, Spencer's got the first down and he's into the end zone for his third touchdown of the night. But we have a penalty flag down at the 19. It, it procedure against the Mohegans appears will not be declined. What are you, crazy? Unless you just want to give up. Well, I did, is it procedure or was it holding? Oh. It is a holding. So that we play the down, second down from the 30. Uh, to get to the 12, second and uh, 22. Hornsby, nice dancing through the middle. Bounces his way through. Is that another penalty flag or is that just some rubbish on the field? Eh, it looks like rubbish, okay. So Farley, Farley actually get credit for three yards on the carry. Hornsby will get five, it's third and 14. Solly to throw, has a man wide open, Joe Bragg get the 86. And the usually sure handed Joe Bragg drops his second pass of the night. So fourth down. And Shader will try a 43 yarder. 42 yarder, penalty flag on a play. I think there's two men on the field, too many, too less. Somebody in the line of scrimmage shouldn't be. Flags down and offsides Mohegans. So 43 yarder now becomes a 48 yarder. Guts. Come on, let him try it. Oh, he is. All right. 40, 39, 38, 37, 47 yarder. Snap his eye, Straff is great hold, Shadel boots it! He got it! Woohoo! <laughs> 47 yards! On an all pro hold by Nick Straffis. And uh, that drive with all its penalties killed one minute and 33 seconds. <laughs> You can have the greatest kicker in the world, and we probably do, but if he doesn't have a great holder, he's nothing. And Nick Straff has proved it right there. He is indeed just as good a holder as Shado is a kicker, and he booted that one nine yards deep. Hoo ah.
5.26 to go fourth quarter. Timeout on the field called by Morgantown as the JV defense, maybe. So some of the pups are in, mostly. First team remains in for Fairmont, and that's fine. Five yard pickup. Bears break the huddle with 10 on the play clock, 12 on the play clock, now down to eight, seven. You have to believe Mignogna's gonna throw it here and he doesn't, he goes outside. And Copney tried to get a couple, a handoff as Copney tried to go outside, we'll say, Will Copney. Copney got two. Company might even last one. It's third down and five, so we'll say no gain. 4.17 to go. And the handoff to the right, and good speed for Will Copney as he'll turn it to the outside. Zach Johnson and Justin Blankenship will run him out of bounds at about the 40. First down for the Bears, and that will stop the clock. So 15 yards on the pickup for Will Copney. And uh, the clock started. It shouldn't have started unless they said he was still out of bounds. Nobody seems to be arguing, so maybe it's just me. Copney on the handoff left side. Breaks one, tackle. As Britton Ryan just quite couldn't get him. Three yards for Copney, second and seven as we're down to 320 and counting. Hey, most of the crowd is still here. Haven't had that at East West Stadium in well, forever for me. This is Mock through the middle, breaking tackles left and right. Bounces his way ahead into Motegan territory to the 46 yard line. Eleven yard pickup for Drew Mock. Three minutes and counting here. Thirty-one to six, Morgantown. And you're on to pass. Pressure comes. Fires it in. Complete. Should have been intercepted. Tyler Kirk. Good pressure by Craig McIntosh. Good shot of the moon. Oh, cool. I've been waiting for that. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll grab this shot of the moon. That's a fo <laughs> focus one. Focus. Focus. 
Wow. I'm all right then. Second and 10, the 46. 2.39 to go, fourth quarter. Trips to the left, one to the right. Mignano out of a shotgun. He got good time, fires, has two men. Caught, finally, who come up with the football? It's gotta be incomplete, or is it a fumble? Oh! <laughs> A seven-yard pickup for Darrell Jones, third down. I'd rather it be complete. He keeps the clock moving. 2-0-2, fourth quarter, 31-6, Morgantown. Copney in the backfield. Ryan misses him again. Blankenship can't get him. Still on his feet. Copney's down the sideline. And Jack Davis finally brought him to the ground. It's your buddy, 71. Inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. <coughs> 26 yard pickup for Copney. 139 to go and the Polar Bears are knocking on the door again. And when you're out of throw, pressure comes. Still on his feet, and he's dropped at the 11. Connor Fox was in pressure. Rather applying pressure. Justin Shinkovitz on the tackle. Up to the 10. Gain of three for Mignano as we're down to 63 ticks to go in the game. Mignano looking, firing pass, incomplete. That will stop the clock with 48 seconds to go. <laughs> Guess what, third down. Well, they threw two great passes. To Bierbauer in the first quarter. He hasn't touched the ball since. I'm wondering, I haven't seen him out there. Did he get hurt? I don't see him on the sideline. Oh, he's, no, he's in the slot to the right. Third and seven. Lots of time, firing incomplete. Fourth and seven, now 44 seconds to go. Fourth and seven. Twins to each side. Flare pass. Can he get into the end zone? He, he's gonna be close to the first down, but I don't think he got it. I think we got, they have to measure that. It's fourth down. Well, 35 seconds to go. There's no way, unless Buddy's in there. Is Buddy in there? <laughs> We're not seeing this spot. I think he's short. He is short. No. First down, Polar Bears. And through the end of the end zone, Drew Mox into the end zone, touchdown, Fairmont. Try. 
extra point. We got an old 80 to kick, whoever 80 is. And this one's up, looks good, is good. 26 seconds to go, and West Side makes it 31 13, Morgantown. Of course, if you look at the scoreboard, we uh, <laughs> the scoreboard has decided only to give the Polar Bears one point for that drive. Now they have 14 points. It's really 31 13. <laughs> it really bothers me. Fix it. It's only 13, not 14. Oh. Boo! Scoreboard reads 31 14. There it is, it's fixed. Whew. I can go back to not sweating now. That drive, the Polar Bears had the ball for five minutes. And you have to believe they're going to try an onside kick. Hands team up for the Mohegans. And Morgantown falls on it. There's a flag down at the Mohegan 41. On sportsmen like Morgantown. kickoff only took 0.6 seconds off the clock. So there's those two seconds that they took away from us in the first half. <laughs> and the pup offense is in and they'll get one. Michael Richards on the carry. Jordan Pinto the quarterback. As we're down to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And Pinto will hand off to Richards. He'll get dropped for a loss of one. But that's going to be the ball game, folks. Morgantown led seven, six at the half. They come out and score 28. I'm sorry, 24 unanswered points on about a dozen plays, time of possession heavily favoring the Polar Bears tonight. The final score, Morgantown 31, Fairmont Senior 13. This has been Morgantown Mohegan Football, a video quest production.